Welcome back. Since the pandemic started, many of us have been more glued to our smartphones and computer screens than ever before, and that means more exposure to blue light. And here to explain the hazards and way to protect yourself from these rays is Dr. Sherry Ingraham with Advanced Dermatology. It's great to see you. Welcome back to the show. Hi, guys. And typically, when we're talking about blue light, Dr. Ingraham, we typically think of our eyes, which can be a problem, but you want to talk about the effects of of blue light on our skin. Absolutely, you know, we know that blue light can really inhibit our ability to sleep by suppressing our natural secretion of melatonin, and it can also cause macular degeneration in our eyes, but now we know it has a widespread negative impact on our skin because it's essentially upsetting our collagen. Okay, so let's talk about the sources then, and we can get into ways to protect ourselves, but, is it just as simple as holding your phone and looking at your screen? This could be damaging to my face right now? It could be. Me doing this all day long or me actually looking into this laptop that my children are and many children are now at home in school looking at all day is emitting high intensity waves of blue light. And what blue light does is it kind of acts like we talk about those free radicals bombarding the collagen, bombarding the DNA. And so what happens eventually is we get collagen damage. We can get wrinkles. We can get spots. We're learning more and more about this every day, but we know enough now to know that we need to protect ourselves. And we need to protect ourselves with our eyes. I know you're wearing your blue glasses. I have mine. What are the other must-have products for this? So you want to think about antioxidants, right? We're using antioxidants as an environmental shield. So the environment that we're protecting ourselves from is pollution, sunlight, but also the environmental shield with antioxidants against blue light. So you want to load up on antioxidants. My favorite is still that CE Ferulic from SkinCeuticals. Put it on in the morning under your sunscreen, which is really the most important part of your blue light protection arsenal. Are there certain age groups or skin tones that people need to be aware of, maybe groups of people who are more at risk? Yes and no. You know, we, we don't know enough. We know that people who are fairer skinned have less melanin, and so their skin does tend to get more damaged in general. But when it comes to blue light, we really don't know yet. The verdict isn't in. And so I tell everyone, especially because we know certain skin tones tend to hyperpigment more from sun damage, I have informed them that blue light can drive this pigmentation as well. So you want to, in all skin shades, wear sunscreen whether you're inside or out and that's something my patients always say I have to wear sunscreen inside and I tell them yes those overhead lights all of those nice lights that we have these LED lights in our homes and our computer screens emit so much blue light that not only do you want to wear sunscreen even if you're not going to go outside on a rainy day like this but you want to wear a tinted sunscreen and the reason is because tinted sunscreens contain iron oxide and iron oxide is the best thing to block blue light. It's really fantastic. I mean, I'm learning so much today because literally I thought this was just for our eyes. I never thought about the damage to our skin. And it would never occur to me to put sunscreen on if Inside. I were spending the day at home. I know. It's so unbelievable. I'm writing this down. Very on a important. day like today, right, you get a break. You're in your pajamas, but you still got to put your sunscreen on. That's what I tell people in this Zoom universe we're all in. We're all working from home, and I'm telling them now more than ever, one of the first things I ask my patients is, do you wear sunscreen when you're outside? And they'll say, yeah, but, you know, I'm really working from home where I'm not driving. And then I say, well, then you need it more than ever. And one trick you can do is you can get your normal sunscreen. I like a good zinc-based La Roche-Posay sunscreen. And you can buy something like a Derma Blend tint. And you can mix this iron oxide tint into your sunscreen and get a tinted sunscreen. Or you can buy a sunscreen now that has antioxidants. And one of my favorite is the ISDIN. This is a special sunscreen that not only prevents DNA damage, but it also has a high concentration of antioxidants. And really what you're doing is you're blocking those blue 
rays from getting to the skin, but you're also stopping that pigmentary process because a lot of times natural light stimulates pigmentation in our skin. And that's how our melasma actually mm. gets darker, even if you don't go outside. It's so crazy. And you know what? The amount of times that we pick up our phones and look at it, the amount of time now our children are on their laptops and devices. Uh, what can some of the, the children use um, for this? So I actually went online, I went on Amazon and I ordered my daughters a slew of very inexpensive blue light blocking glasses that look very similar to these. They come in cute little colors with different colored rims and they love them. They're kind of their big girl going to school glasses. Mm. So they love wearing these little glasses while they're in class. And then at nighttime, before we go to bed, about an hour or two before we go to bed, if they're in front of their computers, I have them actually wear the blue light blocking goggles. Oh, wow. And yeah, aren't these cool? I look like I'm about to go drill. They're very these, intense. <laughs> these are about $2. And really, once you start using them, you get used to them. And I tell my patients to buy these. I have a lot of patients who come in, and their number one complaint is dark under eye circles. And I say, do you stay on your laptop in bed? And they say, yes. And I say, well, not only is that going to keep you from sleeping well, because it blocks that natural secretion of melatonin, but you're worsening those under eye circles mm -hmm. with blue light. And so these are $2 on Amazon. Well, that is fantastic. You know, I just realized too, one of the benefits, if you're using a tinted sunscreen, Dr. Ingraham, it's it's gonna make your skin look better on all these Zoom calls right. too, right? Isn't that sort of out. like an added bonus that your skin will look more even? It's the win, win, win. <laughs> Everything I have is a double duty. These tinted sunscreens are makeup and sunscreen and zinc at the same time and iron oxide. So you're preventing all of that environmental damage from blue light pollution and sunlight. And then if you really want to step it up a notch, HelioCare, which you know dermatologists have advocated for years as an oral supplement that prevents not only sun damage and DNA damage. We tell patients who are tennis players, golfers, who've had skin cancer, but now they have studies that it actually helps prevent blue light damage and it's just an over-the-counter vitamin you can get at a dermatologist's office or Walgreens. Oh that is awesome and by the way we should mention now is a great time if you haven't done it go get your body scan your checks on those moles if you haven't done it yet this year because uh, an eye on that can help you save your life. Absolutely. All right Dr. Sherry Ingraham thanks so much for your time and advice it's great to see you. Bye, guys. Thanks for having me. You look great in those blue blockers, I know, too. I like those. Very, very nice. And we do have a link on our website with Dr. Ingraham's complete tips. Thanks, doctor. And we'll be right back with a check of what's coming up on the news at 4. Hey, buddy. Yeah, you. Check out the Chevy Silverado. It's got more standard cargo volume than any competitor. Really? Look to your left. Come, check it out.